Good morning, everybody. We've got two things to go over on the inner watch today. One's going to be a robbery that involved a shooting from last night, and then the other one is going to be a burglary of a uh, storage facility. So the first one we'll talk about is the robbery and the shooting from last night. That is case number 17C01673. 17C01673, a robbery in the 1200 block of East MacArthur. This happened on March 13th at approximately 11.15 p.m. On March 13th at 11.15 p.m., two males, both age 59, were in the parking lot of a bar located in the 1200 block of East MacArthur. They were approached by two unknown males in the parking lot. One of the suspects had a gun and demanded money from the two victims. Both victims attempted to flee and were shot several times by that suspect. Both suspects fled on foot eastbound from that location and were not located. Both victims were transported to an area hospital and received treatment for their non-life-threatening injuries. There were numerous patrons at the bar at the time and spoke to officers. The only description that we have to go off right now is that the suspects were both white males and they were in dark colored hooded sweatshirts. We are looking for anyone who might have witnessed the incident or might have seen anything suspicious east of that location in the mobile home park around 11.15 last night. If anybody has any additional information on this case, please contact our investigators at 268-4407, or as always, you can call Crime Stoppers, remain anonymous, and provide your information to them. Where were the victims shot at? Uh, I believe uh, one was in the abdomen area, and then the other one was in the legs. The suspect was shot in the legs. They were both shot multiple times? That is correct, yes. And then, did you say that happened in the it did. It happened in the parking lot of the bar there in the 1200 block of East MacArthur. Vicki, did you say, did they walk up there, the, the suspects? The suspects did, yes. As far as they know. Um, they don't know where they were beforehand, but uh, they were walking into the parking lot when these two individuals were walking out of the bar to leave. And, and they fled on foot? They did. Mm -hmm. They did. Do you guys think that they reside in that mobile home park? It, who knows? Yeah, we don't know. They, uh, we do know that they fled east. Uh, to that area, and we're not even sure if they went into that area or past that area. That's the last uh, place that anybody saw them headed to, and then officers were unable to locate any evidence or uh, any suspects in that area. So there was no, no disturbance in the bar uh, prior to uh, this incident happening, so we don't know the suspects or motive at this time. Yes, yes, non-life-threatening. Yes, they were leaving uh, the bar for the night. Is there any kind of uh, security video that might help you guys out? Um, I am unaware, but detectives will be looking at that. Yeah, definitely looking for surveillance anywhere in the area as well, it, businesses around there. Did the victim say there was any exchange of words between those two, whether it was asking for money? Yeah, the, the suspect uh, with the gun demanded money, tried to rob them, and when they attempted to flee from the suspects, and that's when they were shot. The suspects did not get any property that I'm aware of from the victims. Do you know if they knew each other, the two groups? They did not. Uh, they don't even have a description of who they are. Obviously, this is a little bit disturbing, sure. just walking out of the bar. Is this something of uh, concern? Obviously, yeah. Um, absolutely, it is, and that's why we're um, relying on the public to, to maybe help. 11:15 uh, is not too late at night, and maybe somebody saw a vehicle that was parked in the area that shouldn't have been. Um, so it is important to get this information out to see if anybody has any information, because a lot of times, uh, you know, we'll go back and, and knock on doors and try to do a neighborhood uh, for any witnesses. And sometimes what we'll find is somebody the next day or two will say, you know, hey, oh, I did see a car parked there, but I didn't think to call it in, and, and that could lead to suspect identification as well. So. Definitely ask for the public's help in that in that area in the 1200 block of East MacArthur and in the vicinity to the east there. <clears throat> okay, I don't have a lot of information on this burglary, but I wanted to get out what we could. Um, it's a burglary to a public storage shed or facility under case number 17C016676. 16676, 1100 block of South Rock Road is where it occurred. And it was reported yesterday, March 13th, at approximately 4.50 p.m. 
A 70-year-old, a 74-year-old female reports being advised by employees of the public storage facility in the 1100 block of South Rock Road that her storage unit had been broken into between 4 p.m. on the 12th of March and 10 a.m. on the 13th of March. Suspects broke the lock to her um, facility and stole numerous fine art pieces valued at over $40,000. Paintings were by, and excuse me if I get the names wrong, Marco Sassone, S-A-S-S-O-N-E, I'm, I'm not sure quite how to pronounce that, and then Rufkin, R-U-F-F-K-I-N. Now I do not have any photos of what these paintings look like at this time or exact information on what the paintings are, but we would ask anybody with any, any information on the suspects or where these paintings might be located to contact investigators or crime stoppers with that information. Are these Wichita artists by chance? I don't know. The, this area, it has a lock, has a gate, those kinds of things. Right? I, you know, I'm not, I, I would think that the public storage facilities around town do um, have gates since I've never been to this one, so I'm not quite sure what their security entails. Do we believe this is an inside job? I, I can say. I could not. I don't know how somebody could know that she has paintings in her storage. Did you say how many? Um, I think there were about 20. 20 paintings total. And 20 stolen? Yes. And again, high value. And excuse me, I just don't know much uh, about paintings to give you anything else on it except for um, the artist. And so total. Yes, yep. And if, we, if we're able to obtain information, uh, photos on maybe what they look like, information, but um, you know, if, if somebody knows um, where these paintings are, please call us and uh, we can get them back to the owner. Is, is that, um, I don't know, so she says that they're worth 40000 mm -hmm. like, How How do we know they're worth 40000 I know they're worth 40000 because that's what she told the police that they were worth. So you think maybe she's already had them appraised? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. And just I want to thank the media and all the community for the uh, coverage and the um, really good thoughts and prayers for Brian as he left yesterday. So thank you guys to the media very much. You guys covered it wonderfully and uh, we're very impressed. Okay. That's all I, I have. To yeah, sure. And maybe, maybe you would rather address this on Friday. Um, obviously, Friday is going to be a big day. Okay. Because uh, basketball? Day and basketball. Okay. So there's bars are going to be sure. crazy. I guess, you know, you're just yeah. remind people out there. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. You know, with all of the ways to get home safe, you got cabs, you got uh, Uber, um, you got, you know, friends, designated drivers. Go out and have fun. It's St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you wear green. Make sure you cheer for our uh, basketball teams. And just get home safe. You know, get a ride. It is not worth um, paying all that money, getting arrested, um, losing your life, injury, losing somebody else's life um, for that drive home. So, yeah, we, we, we will stress that a lot Friday and again. But we just want people to use common sense. Have fun. Uh, you know, we want people to have fun, but be responsible. So that's the only thing that we can stress. And get home safe and so then everybody can get to and from their destination safely and go shockers okay bye guys